I greet you in Jesus' precious name. It is Tuesday morning, the 9th of January, 2024. And this is your friend, Angus Bucken, with a thought for the day. We start off in the first book of Peter, chapter 2, and I'm reading verse 2. As newborn babes desire the pure milk of the word that you may grow thereby. We need new milk when we are born again. When we come into a relationship with Jesus Christ as new Christians, we need new milk. Now that milk is essential. Without that new milk, it's called colostrum, by the way, colostrum. Without that colostrum, the baby dies. Now, as a farmer, often we will get a cow that will die at birth. If that calf does not get colostrum from its mother, the chances of its survival are very slim. I remember very distinctly when I was a young farmer, we had a beautiful cow on the farm. I didn't have many cows in those days. (laughs) And I cherished every one of them. And this cow got into a fight with another cow, and it actually died. It was nine months pregnant. I ran into the kitchen, and the first knife I could find, I think it was a bread knife. Now, please, ladies, bear with me. I know this might be a bit gruesome, but this is the honest truth. The cow was dying. It actually died. I took that knife. I cut the stomach of the cow open, and I took out a beautiful baby calf. The calf would have been born within within hours. I got a rough sack and I rubbed it nice and clean. I got it breathing and then I put it straight on to its mother's udder and it started drinking colostrum. That first milk is full of antibodies. It protects the calf for the first few months from any diseases on the farm or whatever. And that calf grew into the most beautiful cow and gave me many, many babies after that. We need the Word of God. You cannot survive without the Word of God. You say, well, I gave my life to the Lord in 1975. doesn't matter when you gave your life to the Lord. You need new milk every single day. That's what I do. Every morning, the Lord gives me colostrum, first milk, and it helps me to survive all the infections that this fallen world will try and bring against me. Please, this year, spend time in the Word every single morning and you will grow strong in the Lord. Jesus bless you and goodbye.